present system is not merely slavery, but extermination. An African slave was well cared for and well fed, so as to be strong for his master's work. These poor Indian serfs had no master who fed them or cared for them. They were simply here to be driven by lash and gunfire to collect rubber. I've never shot game with any pleasure. I have indeed abandoned all shooting for that reason, that I dislike the thought of taking life. However, I'd shoot or exterminate these infamous scoundrels more gladly than I should shoot a crocodile or kill a snake. I swear to God, I'd hang every one of the band of wretches with my own hands if I had the power. I have reached the conclusion that the only way for these Putumayo Indians to move away from the miserable condition to which they were reduced is to carry out an armed insurrection against these gentlemen. I would dearly love to arm them, to train them, and drill them to defend themselves against these ruffians. As to laws, all these South American republics have excellent laws on paper and no sense of equity in the man behind the paper. The laws are beautiful and simple books. A fool can turn the leaves and apply them. An honest fool would make an ideal judge. But these people are not honest and are not fools. And to obtain justice in Peru or Brazil or any of these new world countries, one must bribe and lie, cheat and corrupt, terrify and threaten. So that justice leaves the soil rank with misdeeds. As Hardenberg has written in his book, The Putumayo, The Devil's Paradise, in Amazonia there is only one constitution the Winchester Constitution, and one article, Caliber 44. Portuguese and Spanish expeditions have always gone up the Japura River to catch slaves, and the methods described nearly a century ago are exactly those used nowadays by Arana and this English company. It's appalling to think of all the suffering so-called Spanish and Portuguese civilization has wantonly inflicted on these people. It's naive to believe that the colonizers will all of a sudden grant their right to freedom. Never. No empire has ever been destroyed without resistance. These men have never been punished for the most awful crimes against humanity. The only way for the company to survive would be to introduce reforms and sweep away the evil system. Unfortunately, I believe this is well nigh impossible. I cannot see how the company can or will continue to exist. The English board will resign, and what then? Iran returns to his vomit until the last drop of latex has been hacked from the heart of this miserable forest and the last Utoto and Boris has been burned alive. I am sick of this horrid atmosphere of crime.